Welcome back to another episode of Hector at Home, the Kids Edition. My name is Lisa and I'm really excited to show you today's artwork. So if you guys remember last week, we learned about Krista Maywald, who's one of our biennial artists. And today we'll be learning about somebody new, but who's also in the same exhibition. His name is Glenn Hansen and he is an amazing painter. So he actually has two pieces that are in this year's exhibition. We'll be looking at one together and then making a work of art based on it. Let's get started, guys. Looking at Glenn Hansen's painting, what's the first thing that you guys notice? As we look at all of the details that he's included, we'll be able to uncover more about the story that he's really trying to tell here. So when you place yourself inside of this painting, what do you see? Where does it look like we are? Imagine yourself inside of the painting. Where would you be looking? It almost seems like we're looking through a glass window. How can you guys tell that this is a window? If you guys look into the distance from where we are in our perspective, you'll see in the distance that we can only see the top of a building. Glenn's painting is called Ellis Island and it's where immigrants first came when they arrived to our country. We can see the reflections through the glass and the highlights that are created by the sun hitting the window pane. Looking even closer at the details, can you guys notice anything inside the reflections? Not only can you see the buildings outside, but you can also see the reflections of the people visiting on the inside. Even though we can't see the interior of the building, the artist uses his painting skills to be able to capture the inside and outside of the building we're in from an unusual perspective. For today's work of art, we will be creating a view outside of our own windows. So for this, you can use the view that you actually see outside of your house, or you can use your imagination to create something really unique outside of the window that you're creating. You can use the real view from outside of your building or make something up and get creative and use your imagination. Brainstorm ideas for a landscape or transport yourself to anywhere around the world or maybe out of this world. Extraterrestrial views are encouraged. Once you've finished drawing and coloring in your landscape, the last part is to collage on your window frame. Windows all come in different shapes and sizes. Design one that highlights your drawing to the fullest. For our project, we'll be using a number of different materials. So the first thing that we'll need is a white piece of paper for our drawing, a colored piece of construction paper, and if you don't have any at home, you can definitely use another piece of white paper and then just color it in when we're using it for strips to do the window frame. A ruler for straight lines, pencil, and an eraser, scissors to cut, a glue stick, and lastly, your coloring material of choice. And today I'll be using colored pencils, but please feel free to use markers, crayons, uh, whatever you have available to you at home. For the first step of our project, we'll be using our pencils to sketch out the scene outside of our window. The first thing you need to decide is whether you'll be holding your paper horizontally like this or vertically this way. So for my idea, I'm gonna be holding it horizontally. For my idea, I decided to do a farmland landscape outside of my window. So I'm going to go ahead and start sketching out my details and then show you guys how we'll be coloring it afterwards. Now that I'm done sketching, I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring everything in and I'll show you guys what it looks like once this part is finished. All right, everybody. So I am officially done coloring it in and this is my final drawing of the view outside of my window. Now it's up to us to design what we want our window frame to look like. So I don't wanna hide any of the main details of my drawing. So I'm gonna design my window frame to highlight my drawing that it, so it looks the best that it can be. So to make the strips for my window frame, we're gonna be taking our colored piece of paper. To get started on my window frame, I'm gonna be taking my colored piece of paper, which I have right here, and I'm going to be cutting it up so that I have pieces to work with to design my window frame. 
So for any of you guys watching at home that don't have colored construction paper, don't worry. You're gonna be taking another piece of white paper, follow the same steps of cutting out different lengths of strips, and then once you have your pieces that you know you're gonna be using, you're then gonna color it in to whatever you want it to be. Now that I have my strips outlined using my ruler and pencil, I'm gonna cut them out. Now that I'm done cutting out all my different strips, you can see that I gave myself a few different lengths to work with as I'm now gonna arrange them on top of my drawing. So don't feel like you have to rush through this part. Take your time to really try out a few different ways of arranging your strips to see what looks the best and highlight your drawing so that it looks the best that it can be. I want you guys to note that all of our corners should have a piece of paper around it, just like a regular window frame would be. So now that I have my pieces for my general window frame, I'm gonna start designing what the inside is gonna look like. Looking at my first arrangement, you guys can see that my top strip is actually covering a bit of my house and I put a lot of work into coloring and drawing that part and I really want it to show. So I'm gonna try a different style and see what looks better. Okay, I think I have my final arrangement. So this isn't a typical window or one that I've seen before myself, but the way that this looks, I think it makes my drawing look the best and it looks very, very inviting. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue stick to glue down all of my pieces and show you guys what it looks like at the very end. Now I have my last piece and I'm gonna glue it down and we can see what the final work looks like. Okay guys, this is our final project. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Hector at Home, the Kids Edition. I loved getting to talk to you guys about Glenn Hansen, another artist in this year's Long Island Biennial. If you guys do this project, please share it online and tag us on social media. If you liked this, please subscribe and like and tune in for another episode next month. See you guys. Bye.